Okay, welcome back. Sorry, I wasn't sure that my timer was going. Uh, crap, it's about to be dark. Yeah, see, I paused the game and it gave me a waypoint. Why? I don't need you here. Go away. No. Go away. Delete. Delete. I really don't need waypoints every time I pause. I, I really don't. I don't need- this is not a thing that I need. This is not a thing that I asked for. I appreciate you're trying to help, modification. I really do. But no. And I, yes, I'm going to start saying- it is night. It's night! It's night! I am going to start saying modification because I keep getting the words mob and mod switched. So, modification. <laughs> because that's what the word is short for anyway. Um, but yeah, I used to have- yeah, it used to be when I first started playing with mo creatures on Yogbox, there were only two types of special horse, and I think you bred them to get the, the Pegasus. Uh, yeah, because you had the white Pegasus and the black Pegasus. Um, and then when horses were redone for the mo creatures mod, you had to go through the tier system, and then once you got the zebra hybrid with the horse or the donkey, you used um, different essences on those in order to create different horse types and yet there were so many there were tons of flying mounts i think there's about anywhere from eight to ten different fairy horses and they're all very different and they're really cool um and you know it was just a matter of your preference what kind of flying mount do you want for mo creatures so it was really neat and there's a ton of there's a ton of creatures in here that you can tame uh like the snakes we've passed if i kill one of those and it drops an egg and i stick around while it hatches i'll have a i'll have a pet snake and, like, if I pick it up, it'll curl itself up around my head uh, or my arm, depending on the age. Depending on the age and size of the snake, which, you know, is kind of a really cool aesthetic. Um, I don't remember if they do things beyond maybe hissing at enemies or maybe they give you a buff. I don't honestly remember because it's been so long. Um, but, yeah, you can, tame, you can tame the snakes, you can tame the raccoons, you can tame... You can't tame the foxes, um, but you can tame um, the pandas. You can tame. You can tame most of the creatures in this game, or in this in this modification. The difference is that there's additional hostile mobs as well, and you know every once in a blue moon the modification does get updated. Now I say blue moon because I had to go all the way back to Minecraft 1.12 to even be able to play this mod. Uh, it does work on, I believe it does work on 1.14, but it doesn't have any new content. And between 1.12 and 1.14, it's been, it's, it's been a number of years, I believe. So, you know, there's, there's nothing, there's nothing new with, um, Mo Creatures at the moment. And, I mean, hopefully the mod is still being worked on. I'm not certain. Here's a cool little ruin. This is basically a free starter house. You have, like, a chest and a bed. And, like, a path down into a place that you can just start mining. I think that's a really neat idea for a ruin to find. Because that way, if you stumble upon something like this, you've instantly got a safe space at night. So you can go ahead and start working on other stuff. So that's a fun idea. I, 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 like, <coughs> I like that the ruins mod includes that. You can tame the birds. <laughs> you can tame the elephants. Um, you can turn the elephants into mounts. And I believe the elephants also... Yeah, here's a baby a Asian elephant. And you can tell the difference because of the ears. The Asian elephants have smaller ears. The African ele elephants have bigger ones. Um, there's also two different types of mammoth. But they only spawn in snowy biomes. Oh. Oh, and here we have an ent. And see, here's the zebras I was talking about. And this right here, this is one of the tier 2 horses. Now, because vanilla horses are in the game as well, um, Dr. Zark had to change the way horse breeding works so it would still be functional. Uh, so you now have to figure out what of the many freaking uh, vanilla horses works with, you know, the different um, tier 2 horses in order to start getting your tier 1 and tier 3 horses in order to start breeding for all the special, all the special horses. Here's the, here's the Mo Creatures bunnies. These things are very easy to tame. All I have to do is right click on one. And not only will I tame it, but it'll pop itself onto my head. Um, we have the Ents. Uh, let me clarify something. This is a flower biome. The ants will plant flowers and trees in their wake. But he hasn't done it here, I promise. <laughs> Ooh, is that... <gasps> That's a baby panther. Oh, I want it. This is what I want to tame. Because one of the last upgrades... One of the last updates. Shoot, I don't have a medallion. No! 
we need to go. We gotta go craft a medallion. We 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 gotta go. We gotta do it. Uh, waypoints. Waypoints. Oh, shoot. No. Done. Hang on. Um, give me a waypoint. Yeah. No. Panther. I know that's technically not a species of big cat, but it's it's a modification. Shut up. <laughs> uh, teleport. Oh, wait, is it leather? Oh, no, hang on. Let me look it up. Just a second, guys. Okay, we need one more leather. We we need one more leather. I, I need to find something that has leather and kill it. Because uh, that's how we'll get the medallion, which is how we're going to be able to tame the, the, the panther. I'm hoping that if we stay far enough away, he will stay a panther, like a cub, and not grow up on us. So we're going to go this way. Um, but yeah, the big cats were one of the last things updated with Mo Creatures. And I love the new design. It looks a lot more like cats. Like, the original ones looked really big and blocky. I mean, I just loved that it included big cats. Uh, in the version of this that I played when I was introduced to it with the Yogg Box, there was um, male and female lions. There was a cheetah, um, a snow leopard, a panther, uh, and regular tigers and white tigers. Um, and I think that was it. Here's a different panther. Uh, this one, I think, might be an adolescent. They will turn hostile if they're hungry. Oh, yeah, see this one? He, nope, he doesn't like me. Nope, go away. Do you, do you drop letter? Go, go away. They hit kind of hard because big cat. Go, go. This is why I missed the spamming mechanic of fighting. Go away. No, no. Well, I need, I need, I need, I need the claws too. Claws, fangs, claws. You need the big cat claws too because that will allow you to, to craft a whip. Now, before any of you animal rights activists start getting uppity, the whip is strictly, oh, mice, rat, uh, mice you can actually tame. Again, pick it up. <laughs> I don't know what the purpose is, but you can tame them. Um, but yeah, the reason you want to get big cat claws is so you can make a whip. And before you animal rights activists start getting mad, the whip is just a game function that command that allows you to command the animals to sit because right clicking on them doesn't work, uh, the way it does with vanilla. You, the way it does with um, vanilla animals. I wonder. Ooh, ooh, cows drop leather. Cows drop leather. Give me the leather. Hand it over. Oh, let me let me get some help because there's a panther over there. Hand over. The, give me the leather. Yes. Okay. Take me home. Wee and it did give us some raw meat as well, so that will also give us a chance to actually tame it. Uh, crafting, crafting. So just go one, two, three, and there's your medallion. Um, just a minute, I gotta ch double check. Okay, so I got excited and like paused the video mid cut, but I was basically trying to remember how to make the whip. I don't have enough cat claws yet, but I should still be able to get um, our panther. To at least, are you are you here? Are are you? There's a panther cub. Okay, no wait, wrong wrong button. This is what I need. Hey hey panther cub, hey hey buddy, you. Come on. The, it used to be you would throw the food to them. <coughs> do, do you feed it to them now? Do, no. Here, do, do you want it? It, it's going to despawn. Make sure I still have one. Your, your mom's right there. I'd really prefer if you would if you would eat this food soon. Take this offering, please. He's gift. He looks like he just went, yes. <laughs> Take the meat. This this is usually how the taming process works with mo creatures. Oh, don't look at me. I need you to go away. I saw that little bit of growth. Come on, take the meat. <coughs> take take the meat. Can I just... Nope, you gotta take the... I need you to take the meat. Please take this meat. Are you too big already? You can't possibly be too big. You're still small. You are small. Small. Here, come, come get the meat. 
Oh, yeah, he's still making cub noises. Okay, if they're still making cub noises like that little you just heard, that means they should still be tameable. When they no longer make those you, those noises, uh, they're, they're just wild forever. So I'm trying to tame it. I really want to tame a big cat because with this update with the big cats that they did um, back when they did it, your, your big cats can now become flying mounts. And I love big cats, so I'm like, give me the flying mount with the big cats. I want the winged big cat. I'm trying to not anger mama over here. Hey. A am I doing this right? Am I? Hey. It used to be that you threw food at them. Leave me alone. Nope. Nope. Leave me alone. Leave. I'm going. I wasn't here. I'm gone. Oh, jeez. Wee! So as you can see, they're kind of fast. Alright. Well, you know what? I need more big cat claws anyway. Stupid flowers. Oh, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. We're gonna die. Yep, we're dead. <laughs> okay, well, that sucked. But, thankfully, I can just teleport over here. Grab my stuff, maybe. Maybe grab my stuff. Yeah, I think what happened is we found another, we found another panther. I think that's what happened. Yay! All my stuff plus something else. No! Mama's still very angry. Uh, I'm sprinting. Okay, well. No, wrong wrong button. <laughs> this is going to be the pattern for a second, guys. Hang on. Uh, old death. <laughs> Give me my stuff. Alright. Boop. Give me my stuff. There you go, here's the rest of my stuff. Okay. Um, I think that's everything. No, because where's my where's my helmet? Oh dear. Where's my helmet? Here's the wheat. Where is my helmet? There's not there's not a goat nearby. Is my helmet still back here? My helmet might be back here. I don't think I actually got everything on that last one. There's a flower where I used to be. <laughs> yep, here we go. Here's the rest of my stuff. Alright. Okay, so we'll have to try for big cats later. Because uh, they're pretty tough. I've got, you know, I had a full thing of iron armor on. I'm still missing my helmet. Dug, dug, dug on it. I'm still missing my helmet. Well, you know what? I want to be able to see what I'm doing, so I will at least go to bed first. <laughs> We'll at least go to bed first so I can see what's going on. And then try again. Alright. Old death. I'm amused that I teleported there right as Telegram made a noise. Alright. These these things all in my way. Um, there it is. Alright. So we're going to forget about that. <laughs> we're we're going to have to try that one again later. <laughs> Oh, okay, so uh, delete, delete, and delete. Okay, well, that was a flop. But that's okay. Because now we know we need better armor uh, for the big cats. We'll have to keep some raw food on us. Or at least we'll just have to keep some raw food around. So that we can... Let me, let me get resituated over here. Because everything is... I'm missing my shovel. My shovels. Oh, well. You know what? I'm just going to recraft the shovels. There we go. Okay. Um, I don't have a miscellaneous chest. So... I guess the food one is not... You know what? You have. You are now the... Actually. Hold up. I'll just make a miscellaneous chest. We'll keep that one up top. I gotta say, I do kind of like the pine wood. Let's see, pine wood was. Do I have nothing but? Okay, yeah, good. All right, pine wood was down here somewhere. Oh, pine wood, pine wood, uh, pine wood. Yep. Okay. <sighs> So 
so where on earth was I? <laughs> um, yeah, Mo Creatures was definitely one that I had a lot of fun on with the Yogg Box. It was not nearly as extensive as it is now. Um, and like I said, the whole reason that I want uh, to get a big cat um, is because I want... I want, I want a big cat flying mount. Uh, the horse mounts are nice, but I've done those before, and I would prefer a big cat because I like big cats. So when, when, when you break it down to your, your personal aesthetic, you know, your personal preference, it becomes, you know, more fun to get the animal you want rather than just the animal that you've already gotten. Um, I need... Uh, I need... I need sticks. Crap. I haven't crafted sticks yet. Where's the redwood? Come here. Your stick fodder. Okay. So sticks. Uh, and then I'll pop over here to craft. I really probably should have put like doors down these halls. But oh well. That's just not how things panned out. There we go. Okay. But yeah, you can get um, you can get different big cats, not just as pets, but as winged mounts, and I think that's fun. I think you can have the big cats as regular mounts too. Um, but clearly we failed with the panther, so we're just gonna have to we're gonna have to keep going until we can find another one. Um, I definitely need better weapons though so we're gonna have to go we're gonna have to go mining uh we're gonna have to go mining for those or just you know looting ruins which is another fun thing so we'll probably go ahead and start doing that the other mod that i liked in the yog box was the one that added more dungeons i don't remember what the name of that mod was i don't remember if it was just dungeons if it was more dungeons if it was a variant on ruins or what but it added it added more than the far more than the vanilla Minecraft dungeon to Minecraft. And like it would add buildings like the one I just came from, except there would be, you know, loot inside of it. Cause that, that building, so some of the buildings that come with ruins don't actually have loot. Um, and you know, it would have, Ooh, that's cool. Sometimes it's not even like the ex the additional exploration mods that give you something fun to look at. This is just kind of a neat little structure. This would have made a fun base. This is cool. I like this. What I'm going to do, I'm going to light it up and maybe we can make it a safe house later or something. Maybe. Um, yeah. Okay. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, the, the dungeons mod would add actual dungeons. There would be traps within these dungeons. There would be, you know, hiding little, little secrets within these dungeons. So you really were encouraged to explore the entire thing to, to get what you needed. And that, that made it, or to, you know, to get the reward. And that was, that made it a lot of fun. It really did. Um, what kind of, is this just like seasonal wood? Because I think this is just the seasonal biome. Um, yeah, seasonal forest. What is this wood called? Oh, the, just dark oak wood. Okay, that's cool. I'm okay. I am perfectly okay with an easier way to get dark oak wood. Get out of my way, maggot. And yes, that was a maggot. Uh, there's one of the um, one of the creatures in Mo Creatures that is pure ambience. Um, that goes way up into the clouds. I'm trying to find more ruins. Problem is, I can't see through the trees. I know there was one over there, but I don't think it ha like I don't think that actually has a chest in it. So I'm trying to find actual ruins to go explore. Um, <clears throat> in order to do that, I need to be able to see what I'm doing. Okay, let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. Well, instead of going through the obvious vanilla taiga biome, let's go through whatever this next one is over here, because I do believe this is one of the uh, biomes of plenty biomes. I like the seasonal forest because, you know, you get autumn trees and leaves without having to have the seasons mod. Um, but I like the seasons mod too. The seasons mod is fun. Oh, oh, oh. Are you a baby? I'm not certain. 
because panthers are smaller cats, so I'm just going to kill this cow and move on because we don't need that aggression right now. <laughs> We're not in a position to be able to take that aggression. I'm, I might have to start getting into enchanting. That was the mod I probably should have included was uh, enchanting plus. That didn't come, I don't think that came with the yog box. I think that was pre-enchanting. Um, but it's a good mod either way because what, what biome is this? Really? Why are you zigzagging? What, what biome is this? This is mountain foothills. Okay. Foothills is what makes it, um, uh, and of course the obvious tree difference is what makes it, um, biomes of plenty instead of just mountains. Um, but yeah, Enchanting Plus is a good mod to get because it takes the randomization out of enchanting. Like, you don't have to sit there and, and waste a ton of, um, experience and, and lapis and all that on maybe getting the type of, on, on maybe getting the type of enchantment you want. You can actually get the one that you want. Uh, and then and it'll gray out things that are incompatible with each other. So, you know, it kind of streamlines that process as well. Um... And it's just a, all around, it's a good mod. This, in case you're wondering, this is a mole. He's trying to dig away from me. They're passive mobs. Ooh, there's a tiger. Hey, that's a ruin. Although that might not be much of a ruin. And that's that's a big tiger. That's definitely not a tiger cub. So we're, we're going to approach carefully. Because tigers will hit harder than panthers. Uh, no, that's a tiny ruin. Okay, so we're going to stick over here. <laughs> as much as I like my big cats, I also know how dangerous they are. Um... Oh, oh, that's a parrot. Okay, yeah. The only the only way you can tell the difference in the birds and mo creatures is the color. The green ones are parrots. Uh, there's parrots, crows, blue jays, cardinals, canaries, and doves. And I might have got one of those birds wrong. I think the blue one might not actually be a blue jay. It's something else. But it, it's a blue bird. So I just went blue jay, even though I know that's incorrect. The bears here are also mo creatures. Uh, non-tameable, if I remember correctly. Oh, hey, here's a goat. Here's a couple of goats. Hey, buddy. Let's see. Um, can I just give you, like, anything and you'll follow me? Is that how that works? I don't remember. I would like to get one of you home. The problem is I don't have a place for you. Um, so let's... Goats. Uh, I don't need one in like a, here. Make it a boring color. Um, but yeah, that was one thing, that's one thing with, um, those mo creatures is the big cats hit hard. And the bigger the cat, the harder it hits. Uh, and this was true back before they were updated too. Like if you went to take on a lion or a tiger, you were, you were gonna, you, you were gonna regret it if you weren't careful. So we'll have to, uh, we'll probably have to look into enchanting to get, um, stronger weapons. Um, so I might try to see if there's a version of enchanting plus that's for 112, but I don't think there is. And that would be something that's installed between videos, obviously. Um, the underside of this goat is white. I did not know that the undersides of the brown goats were white. I thought they were just brown goats. Okay. Um... Yeah, it's kind of getting to be that time, isn't it? Alright, so let's left off here. Doesn't matter what color it is. I know this is cheesy, but I do not care. <laughs> Y'all y'all know me from the uh, last set of Minecraft videos I did. I ain't got no problems with quote-unquote cheating. If the mod allows me to do it, okay. If the game allows me to do it, okay. Not a cheat unless it says something like cheat code. Now, when it says allow cheats, sure, I'll agree with you that that's a cheat because the game is openly calling it that. But, I mean, if it's just, if you're just in creative mode, yeah, cheating. You're playing in creative mode. There's a whole difference. Besides, who are you to tell me how I should play Minecraft? It's, it's a sandbox. I can do whatever I want. All right. Ooh, there's a white tiger. Oh, it's beautiful. Well, what little I can see is beautiful. Uh, there's some resources over there. Not seeing any ruins, though. So we might actually have to go mining for supplies rather than raiding ruins. Granted, that's a little more efficient in the long run anyway, but I wanted to explore and see uh, see some ruins. I think it's going to get us down into a normal taiga. 
Uh, here's the other thing I love about ruins. You can find you can actually find emeralds in places. Granted, I don't plan to do much trading, so I don't really have a use for emeralds. But it's nice to know that I can get them if I want. These are more Mo Creatures horses. Oh, there's a dragonfly. Dragonflies are more ambient mobs. Um, oh yeah, I was talking about mobs that I had turned off for Mo Creatures. Um, some of the mobs that I turned off destroy blocks. Like, there's there's a certain... There, there are some mobs that will... Like, like the ogres will destroy blocks. Uh, and you can change the strength, and you can even change whether or not they do destroy blocks. And I would have ogres set to on if um, one other mob did not also destroy blocks. And I believe that is the uh, big golem, which is one that I would also have on if it did not destroy blocks. I can only stop the blocks from, from becoming a thing um, with the ogres. I can't do it with the big golem. So I decided to just go ahead and turn them all off because, you know, if I, if I can't, there's a lot of Minecraft wolves out here. Dang. If I, if I have to worry about my house being destroyed, it's going to be a lot less fun for me. So it just makes more sense for me to, you know, to have that turned off because it'll just be more entertaining for me. Uh, I guess there's nothing... Is there nothing here besides? Nope, there sure isn't. Okay. Okay, that's that. These are grizzlies, I do believe. Because there's like three or four types of bears. Yeah, there's four types of bears, including the panda. Because there's uh, the panda, the polar bear, the grizzly, and the black bear. And I think grizzlies hit hard, so we're going to keep going. Look at all the Minecraft wolves. Dang, this reminds me of uh, when they first introduced wolves. When they first introduced wolves... Um, I don't know if I ever got the chance to talk about this on my original Minecraft series, but when they first introduced wolves, not only could I go into the, into the forest and find this many of them, uh, but this was before they had changed how animals spawn. So I could just return to the same spot in the same forest and get more wolves. I think I ultimately had a pack of 20 at one point. Um, not on my playthrough, obviously, because, you know, I lost the wolves and that was a royal pain, but uh, I was playing on a server at the time that they released wolves. And that was where I was keep. That was uh, I was using my wolves to help guard my castle, and I had a pack of twenty. Ooh, we have lions now. I want to show off the lion models a bit if I can because they're just gorgeous. They are so beautiful. Like we've got a lioness and a lion here. Okay, you just ate, so you should be okay long enough for me to look at you. But just like look at that mane, it's so well done. He's so pretty, and she's pretty too. Turn around. I want to. Can I see your face? There we go. Whoa! No, not like that. Nope. Oh, and here's the rest of Pride. Okay, I'm gone. <laughs> I don't think any of them will follow you under the water. I think players are pretty much the only mobs that can, are the only um, mobs that can do that besides mobs that are specifically meant for the water, and uh, those do exist in Mo creatures. There's sharks. There's dolphins. There's various different types of fish. There's... What else is there? There's... Um, jellyfish. Which is supposed to be a greater variety of jellyfish, but there's a weird glitch where a lot of the skins just don't spawn. Um, and I don't think that was ever fixed either. Oh, but yeah, there's, there's jellyfish. There's stingrays, manta rays, um, piranhas. Uh, I used to turn piranhas off. Because that was just irritating. But I think, uh, I think they only spawn, like, in jungles now or something. I don't remember. It's been a while. This bunny, these, these bunnies spazzing over here. Y'all are gonna, realistically, y'all would die because bunnies don't, do, um. Oh, shoot. I'm running out of time here. Okay, well, let me go ahead and cut it here. And I will see you guys in the next video.